not too many organizations have the opportunity to pause and re and flow chart or re-examine how we're doing business and ask the question do we want to take this process over to the new facility or do we need to tweak it or do we throw it away and start all over because we have an opportunity to do that now it's hard to make the transition of, of being able to fulfill your dreams because we've adapted so long and it's really hard to to believe that you can really set up something the way you think it ought to be to be able to come in on a blank canvas and have input into the best way to take care of patients in terms of again continuing to enhance and provide quality care uh, it's just going to be awesome From its modest beginning in the late 1800s, establishing roots deep in the community as a vital institution, advancing the progress of medicine, training healthcare providers, and caring for those most in need, through its spectacular growth in the 20th century, Los Angeles County USC Medical Center's evolution reflects the history of Los Angeles itself. From the Depression-era construction of the existing facility in 1933, hailed then as an architectural masterpiece and destined now to remain a historical landmark, through World War II and the post-war boom, to the challenges of more recent decades, LAC-USC Medical Center has adapted, evolved, and maintained its role as the backbone of healthcare in Los Angeles County. Today, LAC USC Medical Center is the single largest provider of health care in Los Angeles County. It manages nearly half a million outpatient visits each year, maintains the busiest trauma center in the western United States, handling more than a quarter of all trauma cases in Los Angeles County, and trains more medical professionals in more specialties than any other academic medical center in the nation. In 2007, after more than a century of service, LAC-USC will experience its biggest evolution ever and enter the most exciting phase of its long and storied history. The much-anticipated transition from the earthquake-damaged and aging original building to the new medical center. This facility really means it's, it's a new beginning, it's a, it's a new era, it's the birth of a medical delivery system in a new way in Los Angeles. The largest capital construction project ever undertaken by the County of Los Angeles, the new medical center, is a monumental achievement. Stretching over three city blocks with a total area of 1.5 million square feet, the new medical center is a marvel of engineering and design on an unprecedented scale. Standing beside the 1933 building, it provides a dramatic contrast between old and new, past and future. Designed by renowned architectural firm Helmuth Obata Kassebaum, Lee Bernhardt Liu, the Medical Center campus consists of three main buildings. The seven-story outpatient building, with the center's primary entrance into the main lobby on the west side off State Street. The five-story diagnostic and treatment building, housing emergency and trauma care with walk-in and emergency entrances on the south side along Marengo Street, and the eight-story inpatient building on the east side of the center, home to the intensive care, acute care, and pediatric units. To meet the challenge of consolidating four previous hospital buildings and an outpatient department into one cohesive center, the new medical center was designed for maximum accessibility, utility, and efficiency. Related departments and services are located together for easier access and more efficient patient flow. Separate elevator lobbies for visitors and staff are located throughout the campus. Multiple entrances and exits provide additional access to key areas and easy to follow bilingual directional signs guide the way to every department and service. The three main buildings are unified by a convenient service corridor that runs almost the entire length of the medical center, over 300 yards. A magnificent central courtyard with an amphitheater and gardens also unites the three main buildings, providing a relaxing oasis for patients, visitors and staff with its lush landscaping and natural beauty. Outpatient building. Anchoring the west end of the new facility, the seven-story, 334,000-square-foot outpatient building will serve as the main entrance into the new medical center for most visitors. 
With its elegant glass exterior, it welcomes you into an open, airy, and inviting two-level main lobby, accented with sleek architectural lines, warm stone columns, and cascading sunlight. Most exam rooms in the outpatient building are conveniently equipped with computers, allowing doctors and nurses to access information quickly and easily. Each of the patient clinics has its own registration area, featuring open layouts, vibrant colors, and for most, spectacular views of the downtown skyline. This decentralized registration will be more efficient than the previously centralized system, improving patient flow and care delivery. Diagnostic and Treatment Building The five-story, 430,000 square foot Diagnostic and Treatment Building, in many ways the hub of the new facility, will serve as the main entrance into the new medical center for most staff, many of whom will arrive from the parking structure on the south side of Marengo Street across the Marengo Street Bridge. The first floor is home to a state-of-the-art emergency department. In addition to an ambulance entrance on the south side of the building, a dedicated trauma elevator provides direct access to emergency rooms and operating rooms from the rooftop helipad to save precious minutes and ensure the fastest possible transfer of critical patients. Minutes make a difference in the golden hour. And if we're able to provide the flow and the efficiency, we are able to really make a significant impact on the outcome of that patient's life. And that's what this facility um, really brings to our patients. An innovative feature of the Diagnostic and Treatment Building is its base-isolated foundation, an advanced engineering technique designed to help buildings withstand earthquakes. The building rests within a concrete moat with a grid of rubber bearings that dampen ground movement, allowing the structure to sway up to 24 inches in any direction, increasing its ability to absorb a major earthquake and allowing staff to continue providing emergency services. Inpatient building. The eight-story, 681,000 square foot inpatient building is the largest structure in the medical center, located at the east end near Chicago Street. It features 600 beds, which occupy four of the floors, with single patient occupancy in over 85% of the acute care rooms. I can't put words to describe the joy that our patients are going to feel when they see and they have access to some of the state-of-the-art te technology available to them. The new medical center was planned from the beginning to be a highly efficient facility using the latest technologies. Patients, visitors, and staff will experience not only the dramatic transition from an old building constructed in the 1930s to a completely modern structure, but also the incredible difference of the new facility's cutting-edge new systems, services, and capabilities that will improve efficiency and the delivery of care. The new medical center will have the latest state-of-the-art tools to diagnose and treat patients, including four CT CAT scanners to produce clear three-dimensional images of the internal body, three MRIs, magnetic resonance imaging equipment, to provide clear and detailed pictures of internal organs and tissues, three linear accelerators capable of delivering high-energy x-rays to fight tumors two cardiac catheterization labs equipped to diagnose and treat heart disease, a lithotripter to treat stones in the kidney, gallbladder, and liver, and a PET CT scanner that can produce three-dimensional images of functional processes in the body, such as blood flow and oxygen use. To expedite the delivery of lab specimens, pharmaceuticals, and documents, a pneumatic tube system runs invisibly throughout the medical center, transporting carriers at up to 25 feet per second. To process a high volume of test samples faster, safer, and more accurately, the core clinical lab will utilize a state-of-the-art automated lab system. The lab automation will be a major improvement in efficiency and productivity, capable of reducing the number of steps to deliver patient test results from as many as 17 to just three. One of the most innovative and advanced features of the new medical center is the automated guided vehicle system. With a level of robotics and integration previously imagined only in science fiction, fully automated carriers will transport meals, linens, medications, waste, and supplies through a center-wide network of dedicated corridors and elevators. 
From sending and receiving stations located throughout the medical center, the pre-programmed robotic carriers called TransCars will pick up their cargo of up to 1,000 pounds and deliver it to designated locations with precise timing. The automated guided vehicle system will significantly improve the efficiency of moving routine and on-demand items between centralized functions like the kitchens, linen, storerooms, pharmacies, and materials management. While not a technological feature, one aspect of the new medical center that will have a tremendous impact on the quality of care is the increased patient privacy. Nearly all of the patient floors in the 1933 building were designed with wards, large rooms accommodating as many as five beds with one common shower. The new medical center provides nearly all private rooms, which are more conducive to patient care and protects patient confidentiality. One patient at a time. Each of our patients are handled with care and that they are being moved safely from one building to the next. I want to make sure that every inpatient moves safely and successfully and is taken care of before, during, and after their move. The actual move into the new medical center is a massive undertaking and an unprecedented logistical challenge that will require integrated planning, coordination, and communication among everyone involved. The new facility project team and key staff have invested months of exhaustive planning and organization into the move logistics, considering every conceivable detail. Transition committees are at work to oversee everything from training staff to testing equipment, coordinating telecommunications, and preparing for the movement of patients. The primary focus during the move will be patient safety, with physicians, nurses, and specialists prepared to care for every patient as if their acuity level is one full level more severe than it actually is. Nothing will be left to chance, and the number one priority will be patient safety. With all of its challenges in providing care for the second most populous metropolitan area in the country, LAC USC Medical Center has a heritage and tradition enjoyed by relatively few institutions. To put it in perspective, the origins of the medical center predate the Civil War. California had been declared a free state only eight years before the Sisters of Charity and physicians started seeing both paying and charity patients in rented adobes. LAC USC has endured, evolved, and matured through a Great Depression, two world wars, and decades of social, political, and economic changes, reflecting the evolution of Los Angeles itself into a major world city. The affection many staff have for the current building is genuine, powerful, and part of the noble tradition of service that has characterized County General for nearly 150 years. The improvements that come with the move to a modern facility will be dramatic, exciting, and immediate. But it is this tradition of care, the heart of service, that will continue to define the medical center as it enters this new era. With its efficient design, integrated systems, technological innovations, and state-of-the-art features, the new facility is a world-class medical campus worthy of its heritage and capable of fulfilling LAC USC Medical Center's vital role in meeting the health care needs of Los Angeles County in the 21st century. Oh, I think this is a, uh, a defining moment for the organization. We've always uh, had uh, in our, in our uh, grasp some of the world-class physicians, some of the best employees, you know, their minds and their heart in the right place. Now they'll be able to do their very best work in a modern facility. This is amazing. I've seen the tremendous galvanization of, of individuals that come together for a common cause, and, and that's a, a magic, if you will. It's a commitment to the community, and the community receives that benefit. And in like, our patients go out and take care of Los Angeles, because they are Los Angeles. This is a gift to the community. This is a gift to the patients. I mean, with the new processes, with this beautiful state-of-the-art building and all of the different uh, amenities that come with it. I mean, where else can you go but up? It's just, it's fantastic to think that you're part of something that's the 
that's going to go on for years and years and years and you can make it good from the beginning. Now you see walls, you see color, you see you know equipment coming in so it's exciting. It's coming to life. It is.